XRP appears to be on the edge of a potentially massive run, according to several indicators. Keep watching this video to find out more, so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. Notably, XRP continues to move within a descending price channel often recognized as a falling wedge pattern in technical analysis. This trend could be hinting at an impending bullish reversal, but there are key price marks to keep an eye on. John Deaton, a vocal advocate for Ripple, has expressed optimism regarding the ongoing lawsuit between the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple. Deaton believes that Judge Torres, presiding over the case, will thoroughly address whether XRP is a security in her upcoming summary judgment. In a series of tweets, Deaton argues that XRP should not be classified as a security and draws parallels to various assets to support his stance. He also expects Judge Torres to address the issue of secondary sales, unlike what some experienced lawyers anticipate. XRP's classification and comparison to other assets. Deaton firmly asserts that XRP is not a SECURIT and draws comparisons to assets such as orange groves, whiskey, condos, and Bitcoin. He argues that despite being marketed and sold as investment contracts, the inherent characteristics of these assets remain unchanged. Deaton points out that even though Bitcoin was initially sold as an investment contract, yet it is recognized as a digital commodity. Addressing secondary market sales. Contrary to the expectations of some legal experts, Deaton believes that Judge Torres will be bold in addressing the issue of secondary market sales of XRP. He states that it would be an act of judicial activism to ignore the SEC's theory and not address these issues. Deaton refers to a previous case involving Telegram, where Judge Castell ruled in favor of the SEC, stating that Telegram had to repay investors for their unsuccessful initial coin offering. However, Deaton highlights that the Telegram case involved an ICO with written contracts, unlike the situation with XRP. Differences between XRP and Telegram's GRAM Deaton emphasizes that the SEC's theory in the Ripple case is based on continuous activity resembling an ICO while considering each sale of XRP as part of a broader plan involving securities. However, he clarifies that XRP differs from the Telegram case as it did not involve written contracts and had been openly traded on the XRP ledger for over seven years. Additionally, Deaton notes that SEC staff members were permitted to own XRP until 2019, which was not the case with Telegram's GRAM token. Importance of Secondary Market Transactions The issue of secondary market transactions of XRP is crucial in the SEC and Ripple legal battle. The SEC accuses Ripple of offering XRP as an unregistered security. Still, it fails to distinguish between Ripple's direct sales and subsequent trading on the secondary market, leading to confusion. Deaton suggests that Judge Torres may address this issue based on a previous examination in the SEC vs. LBRA lawsuit, providing further insight. While there are no guarantees, John Deaton's optimism stems from his belief that Judge Torres will thoroughly address the core question of XRP's security classification in the upcoming summary judgment. His arguments revolve around the inherent nature of XRP, comparisons to other assets, and expectations for addressing secondary market sales. The outcome of Judge Torres' decision could significantly impact the cryptocurrency industry, shedding light on the security status of XRP. Firstly, a closer look at XRP's chart reveals a falling wedge pattern, 
a technical formation typically considered bullish. It is characterized by lower highs and lower lows, with the lines eventually converging. The falling wedge suggests that although selling pressure is present, buyers are steadily stepping in at lower levels. Should XRP's price break out above the wedge's upper trend line, the coin may see a substantial upward swing. However, a crucial factor to consider is the trading volume, which has been descending alongside the falling price. This indicates a decrease in selling pressure and may act as a precursor to a trend reversal. Lower volume during a downward trend is often seen as a positive sign as it shows reduced interest in selling the asset at the current price levels. This waning selling interest may tip the balance in favor of buyers, leading to an upward price swing. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements, has been moving sideways. This suggests a balanced market with buying and selling pressures relatively equal. However, a significant movement in either direction may give an early indication of where the price is heading next. While XRP's current technical setup points to a possible bullish breakout from its falling wedge pattern, traders and investors should monitor the price behavior closely. The key price marks to watch would be the upper trend line of the wedge and whether there is a corresponding surge in volume to support any breakout. As always, it is essential to employ rigorous risk management and not solely rely on technical analysis for investment decisions. On the other hand, XRP demonstrates impressive growth milestones in Kitu, reveals Missouri report. XRP experienced significant growth in Kitu, with a rise in its circulating market cap and average daily NFT transactions. The launch of Corium and Root Network protocols on XRPL highlights XRP's commitment to security and metaverse innovations. XRP's circulating market cap witnessed an impressive 42.5% year-to-date growth, primarily driven by a surge in asset price during the first quarter. However, the market cap experienced a slight decline of 10.7% quarter-on-quarter from $27.8 billion to $24.8 billion in Q2. Despite this, the growth trend reflects the resilience of XRP amid market challenges and highlights its ability to attract investor interest. Although the XRP network observed a slowdown in transaction volume, the average daily NFT transactions saw a notable increase of 12.7% from 13,800 to 15,500. While XRP's DeFi and NFT ecosystems may not currently rival those of top competitors like Ethereum and Solana, the trend is gradually changing. The rise in NFT transactions indicates a growing interest in XRP's unique features and its potential to facilitate the creation and exchange of digital assets. During Key 2, XRP's XXRPL witnessed the launch of two prominent protocols, Corium and Root Network. Corium plays a crucial role in providing XRPL developers and users with enhanced programmability while prioritizing ecosystem security. This protocol contributes to the overall growth and stability of the XRP network ensuring a secure environment for decentralized applications and smart contracts. The second protocol launched on XRPL, Root Network, focuses on metaverse innovations. By leveraging the capabilities of XRPL, Root Network aims to foster the development of innovative solutions and applications within the metaverse. This expansion opens up exciting possibilities for XRP's involvement in the evolving virtual reality and digital asset landscape. Despite the lingering impact of the Ripple's SEC lawsuit, developers within the XRP ecosystem are actively working to pivot the cryptocurrency toward utility provision. The growth witnessed in various operational aspects of XRPL underscores the commitment to achieving a sustainable agenda. From exploring real estate tokenization to conducting groundbreaking blockchain research, XRP is actively building unique fundamentals that can serve as catalysts for long-term growth. XRP is not only focusing on its own growth, 
but also actively contributing to the advancement of blockchain technology. Through its research initiatives, XRP aims to power innovation and explore new use cases for distributed ledger technology. By fostering collaboration and pushing the boundaries of what is possible, XRP is positioning itself as a key player in the broader blockchain ecosystem. Despite the ongoing ripple of SEC lawsuit, XRP has demonstrated impressive growth in multiple aspects during the second quarter of this year. The cryptocurrency has experienced notable increases in its circulating market cap and average daily NFT transactions and witnessed the launch of significant protocols like Corium and Root Network. XRP's commitment to utility provision, coupled with its involvement in real estate tokenization and blockchain research, positions it as a cryptocurrency with long-term growth potential. In the last quarter, XRP Ledger experienced impressive network activity. On May 28, 2023, around 523,000 addresses received the transaction, nearly 11 times the daily average in Kitu. This is the second highest address activity day in its history. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.